Greece, officially the Hellenic Republic, is a country in Southeast Europe. Located on the southern tip of the Balkan Peninsula, Greece shares land borders with Albania to the northwest, North Macedonia and Bulgaria to the north, and Turkey to the east. The Aegean Sea lies to the east of the mainland, the Ionian Sea to the west, and the Sea of Crete and the Mediterranean Sea to the south. Greece has the longest coastline on the Mediterranean basin, featuring thousands of islands. The country comprises nine traditional geographic regions and has a population of nearly 10.4 million. Athens is the nation's capital and largest city, followed by Thessaloniki and Patras. Greece is considered the cradle of Western civilization, being the birthplace of democracy, Western philosophy, Western literature, historiography, political science, major scientific and mathematical principles, theater, and the Olympic Games. From the 8th century BC, the Greeks were organized into various independent city-states known as polis that span the Mediterranean and Black Seas. Philip II of Macedon united most of present-day Greece in the 4th century BC, with his son Alexander the Great rapidly conquering much of the known ancient world from the eastern Mediterranean to northwestern India. The subsequent Hellenistic period saw the height of Greek culture and influence in antiquity. Greece was annexed by Rome in the 2nd century BC, becoming an integral part of the Roman Empire and its continuation, the Byzantine Empire, which was predominantly Greek in culture and language. The Greek Orthodox Church, which emerged in the 1st century AD, helped shape modern Greek identity and transmitted Greek traditions to the wider Orthodox world. After the Fourth Crusade in 1204, Latin possessions were established in parts of the Greek peninsula, but most of the area fell under Ottoman rule by the mid-15th century. The Epitoma Cave in Mani, in southern Greece, has been suggested to contain the oldest remains of early modern humans outside of Africa, dated to 200,000 years ago. However, others suggest the remains represent archaic humans. All three stages of the Stone Age are represented in Greece, for example, in the French Thai Cave. Neolithic settlements in Greece, dating from the 7th millennium BC, are the oldest in Europe by several centuries, as Greece lies on the route by which farming spread from the Near East to Europe. The collapse of the Mycenaean civilization ushered the Greek Dark Ages, from which written records are absent. The end of the Dark Ages is traditionally dated to 776 BC, the year of the first Olympic Games. The Iliad and the Odyssey, the foundational texts of Western literature, are believed to have been composed by Homer in the 7th or 8th centuries BC. With the end of the Dark Ages, there emerged kingdoms and city-states across the Greek peninsula, which spread to the shores of the Black Sea, Magna Graecia in southern Italy and Asia Minor. These states and their colonies reached great levels of prosperity that resulted in an unprecedented cultural boom, that of classical Greece, expressed in architecture, drama, science, mathematics, and philosophy. In 508 BC, Cleisthenes instituted the world's first democratic system of government in Athens. By 500 BC, the Persian Empire controlled the Greek city-states in Asia Minor and Macedonia. Attempts by some Greek city-states of Asia Minor to overthrow Persian rule failed, and Persia invaded the states of mainland Greece in 492 BC but was forced to withdraw after defeat at the Battle of Marathon in 490 BC. In response, the Greek city-states formed the Hellenic League in 481 BC, led by Sparta, which was the first recorded union of Greek states since the mythical union of the Trojan War. 
a second Persian invasion of Greece followed in 480 BC. Following Greek victories in 480 to 79 BC, the Persians withdrew for a second time, marking their eventual withdrawal from all their European territories. The Greek victories in the Greco-Persian Wars are considered a pivotal moment in history, as the 50 years of peace afterwards are known as the Golden Age of Athens, the seminal period of development that laid many foundations of Western civilization. Lack of political unity resulted in frequent conflict between Greek states. The most devastating inter-Greek war was the Peloponnesian War, won by Sparta and marking the demise of the Athenian Empire. Athens and Sparta were later overshadowed by Thebes and eventually Macedon, with the latter uniting most city-states of the Greek hinterland in the League of Corinth under Philip II. Despite this, the Greek world remained fragmented and would not be united under a single power until the Roman years. From about 200 BC the Roman Republic became increasingly involved in Greek affairs and engaged in a series of wars with Macedon. Macedon's defeat at the Battle of Pydna in 168 BC signaled the end of Antigonic power. In 146 BC, Macedonia was annexed as a province by Rome, and the rest of Greece became a Roman protectorate. The process was completed in 27 BC when Emperor Augustus annexed the rest of Greece and constituted it as the senatorial province of Achaea. Despite their military superiority, the Romans admired and became heavily influenced by Greek culture, hence Horace's famous statement, Greece, although captured, took its wild conqueror captive. of Homer inspired the Aeneid of Virgil, and authors such as Seneca the Younger wrote using Greek styles. Roman heroes such as Scipio Africanus studied philosophy and regarded Greek culture and science as an example to be followed. Similarly, most Roman emperors admired things Greek in nature. Emperor Nero visited Greece in AD 66 and performed at the ancient Olympic Games, while Hadrian served as an eponymous archon of Athens before becoming emperor. The Roman Empire in the East, following the fall of the Western Roman Empire in the 5th century, is known as the Byzantine Empire and lasted until 1453. With its capital in Constantinople, its language and culture were Greek and its religion was predominantly Eastern Orthodox Christian. From the 4th century, the empire's Balkan territories, including Greece, suffered from the dislocation of barbarian invasions. The raids by Goths and Huns in the 4th and 5th centuries and the Slavic invasion in the 7th century resulted in a dramatic collapse in imperial authority in the Greek peninsula. Following the Slavic invasion, the imperial government retained formal control of only the islands and coastal areas, particularly the densely populated walled cities such as Athens, Corinth, and Thessalonica. While most of mainland Greece and the Aegean Islands was under Ottoman control by the end of the 15th century, Cyprus and Crete remained Venetian and did not fall to the Ottomans until 1571 and 1670 respectively. While some Greeks in the Ionian Islands and Constantinople lived in prosperity, and Greeks of Constantinople achieved power within the Ottoman administration, much of Greece suffered the economic consequences of Ottoman conquest. Heavy taxes were enforced, and in later years the Ottoman Empire enacted a policy of creation of hereditary estates, effectively turning the rural Greek populations into serfs. The Greek Orthodox Church and the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople were considered by the Ottoman governments as the ruling authorities of the entire Orthodox Christian population of the Ottoman Empire, whether ethnically Greek or not. Although the Ottoman state did not force non-Muslims to convert to Islam, 
Christians faced discrimination intended to highlight their inferior status in the empire. Discrimination, particularly when combined with harsh treatment by local Ottoman authorities, led to conversions to Islam, if only superficially. In the 19th century, many crypto-Christians returned to their old religious allegiance. The nature of Ottoman administration of Greece varied, though it was invariably arbitrary and often harsh. Some cities had governors appointed by the Sultan, while others, like Athens, were self-governed municipalities. Mountainous regions in the interior and many islands remained effectively autonomous from the central Ottoman state for many centuries. In the late 18th century, an increase in secular learning during the modern Greek Enlightenment led to the emergence among westernized Greek-speaking elites of the diaspora of the notion of a Greek nation tracing its existence to ancient Greece. distinct from the other Orthodox peoples, and having a right to political autonomy. One of the organizations formed in this intellectual milieu was the Feliki Eteria, a secret organization formed by merchants in Odessa in 1814. Appropriating a long-standing tradition of Orthodox Messianic prophecy aspiring to the resurrection of the Eastern Roman Empire and creating the impression they had the backing of Tsarist Russia. They managed amidst a crisis of Ottoman trade, from 1815 onwards, to engage traditional strata of the Greek Orthodox world in their liberal nationalist cause. The Feliki Eteria planned to launch revolution in the Peloponnese, the Danubian principalities, and Constantinople. The first revolts began on March 6, 1821 in the Danubian principalities, but it was soon put down by the Ottomans. The events in the north spurred the Greeks of the Peloponnese into action and on March 17, 1821 the Maniots declared war on the Ottomans. By the end of the month, the Peloponnese was in open revolt and by October 1821 the Greeks under Theodoros Kalakotronis had captured Tripolitsa. Asian revolt was quickly followed by revolts in Crete, Macedonia, and central Greece, which would soon be suppressed. Meanwhile, the makeshift Greek navy was achieving success against the Ottomans. In 1822 and 1824 the Turks and Egyptians ravaged the islands, committing wholesale massacres of the population. This galvanized opinion in Western Europe in favor of the Greek rebels. In 1827, Ioannis Kapodistrias was chosen by the Third National Assembly at Trozen as the first governor of the First Hellenic Republic. Kapodistrias established state, economic and military institutions. Soon tensions appeared between him and local interests. Following his assassination in 1831 and the London Conference a year later, the great powers of Britain, France and Russia installed Bavarian Prince Otto von Wittelsbach as monarch. Otto's reign was despotic, and in its first 11 years of independence Greece was ruled by a Bavarian oligarchy led by Joseph Ludwig von Armensburg and, later, by Otto himself, as king and premier. Greece remained under the influence of its three protecting great powers, France, Russia, and the United Kingdom, as well as Bavaria. In 1843 an uprising forced Otto to grant a constitution and representative assembly. Despite the absolutism of Otto's reign, the early years proved instrumental in developing institutions which are still the bedrock of Greek administration and education. Important steps were taken in the education system, maritime and postal communications, effective civil administration and, most importantly, the legal code. Historical revisionism took the form of de-Byzantinification and de in favor of promoting ancient Greek heritage. 
In this spirit, the capital was moved from Naphtlio, where it had been since 1829, to Athens, then a smaller town. Religious reform took place, and the Church of Greece was established as Greece's national church. March 25th, the Day of Annunciation, was chosen as the anniversary of the Greek War of Independence to reinforce the link between Greek identity and orthodoxy. Pavlos Karolidis called the Bavarian efforts to create a modern state in Greece as not only appropriate for the people's needs, but also based on excellent administrative principles of the era. Otto was deposed in the October 23, 1862 revolution. Multiple causes led to his deposition and exile, including the Bavarian-dominated government, heavy taxation, and a failed attempt to annex Crete from the Ottoman Empire. A year later, he was replaced by Prince Wilhelm of Denmark, who took the name George I and brought with him the Ionian Islands as a coronation gift from Britain. A new constitution in 1864 changed Greece's form of government from constitutional monarchy to the more democratic Crown Republic. In 1875, the concept of parliamentary majority as a requirement for the formation of a government was introduced by Cherilaus Trikopis, curbing the power of the monarchy to appoint minority governments of its preference. 80% of Greece consists of mountains or hills, making the country one of the most mountainous in Europe. Mount Olympus, the mythical abode of the Greek gods, culminates at Mitica's peak, 2,918 meters the highest in the country. Western Greece contains a number of lakes and wetlands and is dominated by the Pindus mountain range. The Pindus, a continuation of the Dinaric Alps, reaches a maximum elevation of 2,637 m at M.T. Smolikas and historically has been a significant barrier to east-west travel. The Pindus Range continues through the central Peloponnese, crosses the islands of Kythera and Antikythera and finds its way into southwestern Aegean, in the island of Crete where it eventually ends. of the Aegean are peaks of underwater mountains that once constituted an extension of the mainland. Pindus is characterized by its high, steep peaks, often dissected by numerous canyons and a variety of other karstic landscapes. The spectacular Vikos Gorge, part of the Vikos Eus National Park in the Pindus Range, is listed by the Guinness Book of World Records as the deepest gorge in the world. Another notable formation are the Meteora Rock Pillars, atop which have been built medieval Greek Orthodox monasteries. Northeastern Greece features another high-altitude mountain range, the Rhodo Range, spreading across the region of East Macedonia and Thrace. This area is covered with vast, thick, ancient forests, including the famous Dadia Forest in the Evros Regional Unit, in the far northeast of the country. Extensive plains are primarily located in the regions of Thessaly, Central Macedonia and Thrace. They constitute key economic regions as they are among the few arable places in the country. Rare marine species such as the pinniped seals and the loggerhead sea turtle live in the sea surrounding mainland Greece, while its dense forests are home to the endangered brown bear, the Eurasian lynx, the roe deer and the wild goat. Greece features a vast number of islands, between 1,200 and 6,000, depending on the definition, 227 of which are inhabited, and is considered a non-contiguous transcontinental country. Crete is the largest and most populous island. Euboea, separated from the mainland by the 60 m wide Europa Strait, is the second largest, followed by Lesbos and Rhodes. The Greek islands are traditionally grouped into the following clusters, the Argo-Saronic Islands in the Saronic Gulf near Athens, the Cyclades, a large but dense collection occupying the central part of the Aegean Sea. The 
North Aegean Islands, a loose grouping off the west coast of Turkey, the Dalekanese, another loose collection in the southeast between Crete and Turkey, the Sparades, a small tight group off the coast of northeast Euboea and the Ionian Islands, located to the west of the mainland and the Ionian Sea. In 2010, Greece was the European Union's largest producer of cotton and pistachios and ranked second in the production of rice and olives, third in the production of figs, almond, tomatoes, and watermelons, and fourth in the production of tobacco. Agriculture contributes 3.8% of the country's GDP and employs 12.4% of the country's labor force. Greece is a major beneficiary of the EU's common agricultural policy. As a result of the country's entry to the European community, much of its agricultural infrastructure has been upgraded and agricultural output increased. Between 2000 and 2007, organic farming in Greece increased by 885%, the highest change percentage in the EU. Electricity production in Greece is dominated by the state-owned Public Power Corporation. In 2009 DEI supplied for 85.6% of all electric energy demand in Greece, while the number fell to 77.3% in 2010. Almost half of DEI's power output is generated using lignite, a drop from the 51.6% in 2009. 12% of Greece's electricity comes from hydroelectric power plants and another 20% from natural gas. Between 2009 and 2010, independent companies' energy production increased by 56%, from 2,709 gigawatt hour in 2009 to 4,232 GWh in 2010. In 2012, renewable energy accounted for 13.8% of the country's total energy consumption, a rise from the 10.6% it accounted for in 2011, a figure almost equal to the EU average of 14.1% in 2012. 10% of the country's renewable energy comes from solar power, while most comes from biomass and waste recycling. In line with the European Commission's Directive on Renewable Energy, Greece aims to get 18% of its energy from renewable sources by 2020. The shipping industry has been a key element of Greek economic activity since ancient times. Shipping remains one of the country's most important industries, accounting for 4.5% of GDP employing about 160,000 people, and representing a third of the trade deficit. According to the UN, the Greek Merchant Navy is the largest in the world at 18% of global capacity. The country's merchant fleet ranks first in total tonnage, second in total number of ships, first in both tankers and dry bulk carriers, fourth in the number of containers, and fifth in other ships. Today's fleet roster is smaller than an all-time high of 5,000 ships in the late 1970s. Additionally, the total number of ships flying a Greek flag is 1,517, or 5% of the world's DWT. During the 1960s, the size of the Greek fleet nearly doubled, primarily through the investment undertaken by the shipping magnates, Aristotle Onassis and Stavros Niarchos. The basis of the modern Greek maritime industry was formed after World War II when Greek shipping businessmen were able to amass surplus ships sold to them by the U.S. government through the Ship Sales Act of the 1940s. Tourism has been a key element of the economic activity in the country and one of the country's most important sectors, contributing 20.6% of the gross domestic product as of 2018. Greece was the ninth most visited country in the world in 2022, boosting 27.8 million visitors. Greece welcomed over 31.3 million visitors in 2019, and around 28 million in 2016, 
which is an increase from the 26.5 million tourists it welcomed in 2015 and the 19.5 million in 2009 and the 17.7 million tourists in 2007, making Greece one of the most visited countries in Europe in the recent years. The vast majority of visitors in Greece in 2007 came from the European continent, numbering 12.7 million, while the most visitors from a single nationality were those from the United Kingdom, followed closely by those from Germany. In 2010, the most visited region of Greece was that of central Macedonia, with 18% of the country's total tourist flow, followed by Attica with 2.6 million and the Peloponnese with 1.8 million. Northern Greece is the country's most visited geographical region, with 6.5 million tourists, while Central Greece is second with 6.3 million. In 2010, Lonely Planet ranked Greece's northern and second largest city of Thessaloniki as the world's fifth best party town worldwide, comparable with cities such as Dubai and Montreal. In 2011, Santorini was voted as the world's best island in travel plus leisure. Its neighboring island Mykonos came in fifth in the European category. There are 19 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Greece, and Greece is ranked 17th in the world in terms of total sites. 13 further sites are on the tentative list, awaiting nomination. The architecture of ancient Greece was produced by the ancient Greeks, whose culture flourished on the Greek mainland, the Aegean Islands and their colonies, for a period from about 900 BC until the 1st century AD, with the earliest remaining architectural works dating from around 600 BC. The formal vocabulary of ancient Greek architecture in particular the division of architectural style into three defined orders, the Doric order, the Ionic order and the Corinthian order, was to have profound effect on Western architecture of later periods. Byzantine architecture is the architecture promoted by the Byzantine Empire, also known as the Eastern Roman Empire, which dominated Greece and the Greek-speaking world during the Middle Ages. Empire endured for more than a millennium, dramatically influencing medieval architecture throughout Europe and the Near East, and becoming the primary progenitor of the Renaissance and Ottoman architectural traditions that followed its collapse. After the Greek independence, the modern Greek architects tried to combine traditional Greek and Byzantine elements and motives with the Western European movements and styles. Patras was the first city of the modern Greek state to develop a city plan. In January 1829, Stamatis Vulgaris, a Greek engineer of the French army, presented the plan of the new city to the governor Capodistrias, who approved it. Vulgaris applied the orthogonal rule in the urban complex of Patras. Two special genres can be considered the Cycladic architecture, featuring white-colored houses, in the Cyclades and the Epirotic architecture in the region of Epirus. Important is also the influence of the Venetian style in the Ionian Islands and the Mediterranean style of Florestano di Fausto in the Dodecanese Islands. The numerous gods of the ancient Greek religion as well as the mythical heroes and events of the ancient Greek epics and other pieces of art and literature from the time make up what is nowadays colloquially referred to as Greek mythology. The principal gods of the ancient Greek religion were the Dodecathian, or the Twelve Gods, who lived on the top of Mount Olympus. The most important of all ancient Greek gods was Zeus, the king of the gods, who was married to his sister, Hera. The other Greek gods that made up the twelve Olympians were Ares, Poseidon, Athena, Demeter, Dionysus, Apollo, Artemis, Aphrodite, Hephaestus, and Hermes. Despite her humble status within the hierarchy of the Olympians, Hestia, the goddess of the hearth and sacred flame, was likely the most prayed to of all gods. 
it is believed that essentially all home offering ceremonies and most public festival offerings began and ended with an invocation and offering to Hestia. Apart from these 13 gods, the Greek pantheon was filled with dozens of other gods, demigods, and mortal and immortal beings which varied by local and over the evolution of Greek culture. A variety of other mystical beliefs and nature spirits such as nymphs and other magical creatures were foundational to the ancient Greek understanding of the world around them. 